This is Mike Blueberry reporting for Film the Police Portland. I'm here with Aaron Hodges. How you doing, man? I'm wonderful. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So, uh, can you tell us about the story that's all over the news right now? I mean, apparently, you lost your job for Facebook posts? That's what happened. Well, uh, let's just how it started out. I'm always in uh, political conversations on my Facebook page. Well, it doesn't matter. Sometimes I'll see one on my news feed and I'll comment on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw one of a high school person I know, mm -hmm. uh, Fred Dale. Yeah. And uh, we often, we've been going back and forth for about a year. And, uh, you know, I make a post, I lay back down, and uh, I get a call from my HR department. So was this a heated argument type thing? It, was wasn't, it? A, it wasn't an argument. He made a post about a, he put a post that said something about a Milwaukee uh, a Milwaukee police chief telling it how it is, uh -huh. telling it he's telling it how it is, and I'm and I wrote my first response to that was like, uh, do you know the officer in that particular instance? Did you know he got fired as a police officer? And he was like, yeah, I know the guy got fired, and I'm like, so why didn't you tell the other side of that? I was like, did you know the police chief got fired? He's mm -hmm. like, yeah, I know the police chief got fired. Like, why don't you tell the other side of that? Mm -hmm. And then uh, he was like, well, what he was saying is, what he was saying was something positive. And I'm like, oh, really? And I'm like, well, you know those black people, they're all like, they're all demons and they run through bullets and have Hulk Hogan-like strength. And then we go on and on and back mm -hmm. and forth. And I, I make that comment, but I don't think anything of it. Okay. So, um, what was the exact, uh, the exact statement that you made that's got people in the bunch? This says, uh, I prefer the Kenny Ford approach. Well, uh, it's really Jeffrey Ford. Jeffrey Ford was a, uh, he, he was a leader of this, uh, movement called Black Peace Stone Nation. Mm -hmm. And at one of his press conferences, like, uh, cops were killing ordinary citizens again, and he just said, uh, there will be no killing without killing. So, like, if he kills, if they kill one of ours, we'll kill one of them. Right. So, what you were basically doing was you were angry and you were advocating uh, uh, your perspective of what self-defense is, right? I mean, they they have all the advantages, they have all the equipment, mm -hmm. and they, you know, they're using their tools to really go out and shoot black men in the street. Sure. Yeah, sure. they don't get... You, they yeah. don't. Argue, they obviously don't stand trial. Sure. They are. They are held accountable yeah, for yeah, their actions. The, the police have proven over decades and decades and decades, my entire life, and uh, you know, three three hundred years before that, that they can't be trusted to investigate themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I I I empathize with people's frustrated statements. But just to be clear, you weren't advocating for violence, right? No. Are, are, are you a member of any black militant organization I'm or not any, any crazy stuff like that? The, the, no. No. Okay, so you're just a regular guy that was just a little bit angry and you're having a, a, a quote unquote private conversation on Facebook. Yeah, that, that's what I figured. Because open no, up in the media, right? Nobody expects, nobody expects for what they say to just go viral like that, that way. And this, this, and this is a person I've been having political discourse with over a year. Like oh, wow. really an entire year we've been doing this. So he's a high school acquaintance then? It's not, an, well, obviously he can't be an acquaintance. He's well, somebody, anymore, right, he, right. yeah, he's okay. somebody I know from high school. Graduated oh, okay. together, went to high school together. Okay, okay, I got you. Yeah. Right on. Well, it, it's unfortunate that anybody can be thrust into the media line, limelight like this, uh, fortunate and unfortunate. Like in the 21st century, um, since everyone's inter, uh, interfacing with social media, um, it's, it's got advantages and disadvantages. But uh, I, I just want to say that I, I empathize with you, and I don't think anyone should lose their livelihood over expressing their First Amendment right of free speech. You know, I mean, it would be another thing if you were advocating for violence. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, uh, but that, but you really weren't. I mean, you, I mean, you just said you prefer that that approach, or you know, um, you were talking about histor history, not what you're part of, but like making a reference to something that happened. That, you know, with this other organization in the past. Right? The thing that the thing that gets me is like there are four or five sentences in that thread, right? Mm -hmm. In that entire thread, there were over seventy comments. Right. So why would you pick you out of 
five of seventy. Right. So it doesn't put and and like I said, if you if you mm-hmm. saw the you know black people are demons that run through bullets and right. they're all right. like strength, you know, is that serious? You no. Know, why no. wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they take a screenshot of that and send it to my work? That's what they call in literature is a hyperbole, where you where you cite an extreme example to prove a point. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's crazy. It really is crazy. Um, well, is there anything you want the world to know? Hey, you know, you know what I want the world to know. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for a job, and I've excelled at every job I've ever been. You know, right I got some, I got some baggage, but you know, I don't, I don't make no messes about it. Every man has to pay the consequences of his actions. Obviously, I'm paying for my comments. Nordstrom got some backlash. I really do apologize for that. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I didn't want to bring them in. Mm-hmm. You know, I just put on my Facebook. That's where I work, and somebody sent it to them. Well. You know, I mean, the, the one thing I do want to express to you is I, I find it egregious that we live in a society where anyone, regardless of color, mm-hmm. can't express their, you know, quote unquote civil rights and, and, and work at the same time. I, I, I think it's um, appalling, but, you know, uh, good luck to you, man. Yeah. It looks like I'm going to need it. Thank you.